All right, let's uh, let's see. Let's get started with the Ben Shibibo. One of those areas is, is the area of transgenderism. Uh, the the argument that is typically made by gender theorists is that gender is entirely separate from sex. Uh, you, you've seen the argument made that gender theorists, bro. <laughs> it's kind of funny whenever whenever conservatives talk about gender and like people who have a better understanding of gender than they do because it is a social construct. No matter how hard they try to make it seem like it's not. They make it seem like motherfuckers are doing alchemy. These are gender benders. <laughs> Everyone thought that the only elements that you could bend were earth, water, air, and fire. Turns out they're gender bending. It's like <laughs> you're making it seem way sicker than it actually is. You know what I mean? <laughs> that it makes no difference on average if men are stronger than women are and that if we were to allow transgender women to compete with non-transgender women, then this would somehow not disadvantage biological women. And this seems to me absolutely ascientific, that if we're actually gonna have a discussion about gender and sex, that that should be based in data, which suggests that mammals are in- Wait, I'm confused. Why did you just say gender and sex? I don't get it. Hold on. Why did you just say gender and sex? Do you mean like fucking, like sex as in fucking, or do you mean like gender and sex as in like uh, two separate concepts that are, of course, related to one another in some ways, but, huh, interesting. In fact, binary in terms of their sex, unless you have intersex birth defects, typically, or genetic. <laughs> Bro, uh, once you realize that like 98% of conservative commentary is just about being a fucking asshole... Things change dramatically for you. Like, he's just, he's vice signaling. Again, he's like, ha, uh, intersex people are birth defects. It's like, dude, that is so wild. Like, <laughs> why are they birth defects? Because it doesn't correspond to how I understand gender as a rigid binary. So it's a birth defect. Like, you're, you're dick, man. You're like, <laughs> and, Whenever, whenever you talk about it's not a defect, it's not the norm, though. Yeah, it's not in the norm. I know. But what is funny about this is like, okay, what's the argument there? Are you going to make a natural argument for, for sex, uh, like biological sex in, in the animal kingdom? Because, motherfucker, seahorses are out here developing ovaries and shit when there's not enough uh, ladies around. You know what I mean? There's no part of the fucking... Appealing to nature is already stupid. It's already a logical fallacy, right? But, like, when you appeal to nature, you're, you're basically talking about, like, the gayest shit that anyone could have ever imagined. Like, the most trans and the most gay shit ever happens if you've had a dog ever, if you've, like, ever adopted a dog or if you have, like, an animal, okay, in your house, you already know... Dogs are gay as fuck. Straight up. So it makes no fucking sense like to talk about nature when like nature is way more gay than than humans who also exist in nature. But like nature in the wild, unrestricted is super gay like omega gay and omega trans you know what i mean a defect i'm happy to opine on this um this only matters because today we segregate most nearly all sports by gender otherwise why do we even give a shit? <laughs> what's what someone identifies with so this is we live in a free country and with consenting adults and people free expression of who and what they are. Man, I don't love library with you. I mean, it doesn't matter what you teach children. And, and so, <laughs> wait, I thought Ben was a libertarian. I don't agree with that. Wait, what do you mean? You can't express who you are. Like, what? You, what's it to you, nerd? Shut the fuck up. Like, seriously. What is it to you? Why are you so bent that there are people just living free? He's just like, no, I, I, I don't agree. Everyone should have the boring, sexless life that I live. So there's the there's the, the the matrix of of you know what you are biologically how you express yourself who you choose as a sexual partner 
if we actually live in a free country as we tell ourselves, people's freedom to behave in any of those ways should not concern you at all. Nor are they requiring that you behave that way. Okay, no. this is for their own freedoms because right. we live in a. Yeah, no one is like, <laughs> no one is forcibly transing Ben. Okay. Even though he would be cute. We have seen photos of Jen Shabibo and, you know, she ain't bad. Free country. Now, what is unresolved here is what do you do with sports? It's unresolved. And I've followed Stop. that closely and I don't see any, I don't see any meaningful solutions to come down off of that. Um, we know that hormones manifest differently in different people and have, there's a whole thing with steroids. Steroids are hormones, right? And we rallied against steroids in professional sports because it gives you an undue advantage. So, I, and I've tried to think of what the future of sports would be in the world of a gender spectrum. And it may be, you don't specify whether it's a male or female sport, you just take measurements of what your hormonal balances are. And so you compete based on your hormonal <laughs> This is fun I had, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't uh, know where it's gonna land. It, but... The WNBA won't be in business for very long <laughs> if, it's, if that's the case. I disagree. I think like, first of all, if trans people were as like fire, at at athletical uh, athletical athletic competition as the way conservatives uh, claim that they are and not just like a bunch of coder sock wearing hearts of iron players who love modding fallout uh new vegas okay uh and and just you know being left alone and memeing and shit if trans people were just like that fucking good at athletic shit then trans women being incorporated into uh, a, a space that's otherwise dominated by cis women would literally bring more eyeballs and therefore more revenue to all of these sports, genuinely uplifting uh, female sports in general. But of course, that's not the case. You know what I mean? It's just not. Like, it just comes from a place of living in in fear and in, I guess, uh, in an insulated, otherwise insulated existence where you are so far removed from the existence of, like, real trans people in the real world, right? It's funny how you speak as if your opinion is a fact. Um, well, that's that's what Ben is doing as well. I think you just happen to agree with him. But... Um, yeah, I mean, if you if you disagree with me, I am always willing and able to understand your position. Terrible take. Look at that trans woman who won a national championship. What do you mean? That's like one person, and she didn't even win. She got fifth place. She lost to like four cis women. What the fuck? And even then, you would just basically... You would be pointing to like a singular individual. Anyway. Regardless. Okay. Um. <laughs> what was I going to say? I, I got derailed a little bit. This conversation breaks people's brains a lot. Weirdly enough, but um, yeah, like I said, if that was the case, if if trans women were just fucking goaded at sports, like just across the board, okay, uh, if that was the case, then like, you know, more people would probably watch, it'd be more entertaining, it'd be more interesting. It's just like... There's been a story about a trans fighter beating our local fighter in women's league or whatever. So, yeah, it's happening. Yeah, it. you think it's happening because, one, there aren't that many trans people in general. And there aren't that many trans people that are competing in athletic competitions. But the reason why you think it's happening is because whenever a trans person actually competes, it becomes a matter of news. Everyone always, always talks about it endlessly. And we are, unfortunately, 
lizard-brained dipshits, all of us, right? We're all super lizard-brained. So when we get stimulated by something that's like fascinating and new, a phenomena, right? We immediately have this, this, this bias called recency bias where we assume that this is happening way more frequently. And, or uh, is it frequency bias? Is that what it is? It's both recency bias and also, I guess, it's, it's just our biases that are uh, plugging the holes that we have. I mean, there is basically another uh, uh, analogous comparison that I can give with respect to the Nashville school shooting, which was conducted by a trans man, was uh, transitioning uh, rather recently, an AFAP, assigned female at birth, trans man, did the Nashville shooting, and it was the reason why I'm explaining it with these terminology that some, maybe some uh, people will, uh, you know, uh, why does it matter that they're trans? Exactly. No, that's, that's my point. No, that's the point that I'm making. It doesn't matter, right? This is America. This is the United States of America. Everyone does mass shootings, and we know that over the course of the past five years, almost 3,000 mass shootings have occurred, and the overwhelming majority, like almost all of them, have been done by cis men, right? There have been three trans people that have done mass shootings over the course of the past five years. There have been almost 3,000 mass shootings, and yet they make it seem as though, like the right loves to make it seem as though like trans people are out for blood, Right? It's not. It, it uh, it's not a thing. It's not like a commonplace occurrence, and the facts do not correspond to your feelings in that regard. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it's it's vibes based. You know. So, yeah. Isn't the reverse is true, though? Achievements are further highlighted by whether they're trans or not? What? No. No. Um, trans victories, albeit very, very um, rare, are highlighted in the media to say, look, they're always... Because the, the corresponding biases that people have is that trans women are biologically men and therefore have the same advantage that like cis men have over cis women. So they point to that to say, this will wreck sports. It's not fair. Of course, not no part of sports is supposed to be fair. That's why sports is fun, right? Um, but uh, people hyper-focus on it. People hyper-focus on it and cut these kinds of arguments, cut these kinds of videos to instill transphobia and it can be in an innocuous way it can be as like un unrelated to like people's daily existence whether it be like uh you know the one 14 year old trans girl that's like doing a high school swim meet versus it could be something like the the uh, school shooting where it's like this is how all trans people are this is how all trans people are 